Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to take a look at this almost scratch-free iPod Touch first generation. Now, the iPod Touch first generation was released in 2007 in 8, 16 and 32 gigs of storage. It featured a 620 megahertz Samsung CPU along with 128 megabytes of RAM. Originally shipped with iOS 1.1 but could be upgraded to iOS 3.1.3 using a paid software update via iTunes. Now, if you actually try and restore your iPod Touch now, it will only restore to iOS 1.1.5, which is the latest version of iOS 1. Now, you can't actually update to iOS 3 unless you'd paid for the upgrade and had upgraded back in the day, because Apple actually doesn't have the IPSW on their website, although this thing actually doesn't have a signing uh, thing like usually with newer iPhones. You can actually restore whatever you want to this. So as long as it goes through iTunes, I mean, if you found the IPSW, you should be able to restore to iOS 3, uh, but I can't make any guarantees it actually work. But you can see here, iOS 3.1.3, 16 gig on this iPod Touch first generation. Now I paid $23 for it, and I actually put up a poll on my Twitter account, twitter.com slash Hugh Jeffries, if you're interested in that. Um, just saying out to you guys, if you wanted me to pick up this iPod Touch in basically mint condition. Um, so it works apart from about row two of the home screen that entire line doesn't actually function of the digitizer so it does need a screen replacement and you can pick those up but it is quite an involved process um, so i can't actually sign into my wi-fi network because i can't actually tap on the network to enter the password but other than that i mean it still plays music because well it's an ipod and you don't really need the latest software updates or anything to to listen to music on your iPod. So it, while it does function, uh, the screen does need a replacement, but other than that, this iPod is in absolutely immaculate condition and is one of the main reasons I picked it up and actually put it up to a vote um, as I already had a first-gen iPod. Now this is my other first-gen iPod. You can see it actually looks not as scratched um, as some iPods I have seen, but compared to this iPod, it looks very, very scratched. It is in absolutely amazing condition. I don't have the box for it, which is a shame, but I do have the box for my other first gen. Compared to the first generation iPhone, which was also released in 2007, you can see how different they are in design. The iPod features a shiny, polished stainless steel back, whereas the iPhone has a aluminum back, which is much more durable than the stainless steel on the iPod Touch. Both of these devices run up to iOS 3.1.3, uh, which is exactly what both of these devices are running at the moment. You can see here in settings, general and about, they're running 3.1.3. The iPhone is an 8 gig and the iPod is a 16 gig. Both devices function exactly the same, but obviously the iPhone has phone capabilities. What I've always found interesting is on the iPhone, on iOS 4 and below, the music app is actually just called iPod and on the iPod, it's just called music. Now you can see just how scratched my iPod Touch 4th generation is compared to this first gen. And I believe that's because the previous owner never used it in a case. And that just kind of goes to show how the stainless steel uh, wears on these iPod Touches. With the 5th generation and above, they switched to the aluminum housings, which are much more durable. As I said earlier, I put it up to a vote on whether you wanted to see a video on this iPod Touch. And you guys voted yes, so that's exactly what I did. So if you want exclusive polls, pictures, and behind the scenes and content that doesn't actually make it to YouTube, make sure you go ahead and check me out on Twitter, twitter.com slash Hugh Jeffries. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you're not already subscribed, go and hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys next time, another one of my great videos.